Hi, ADHD friends. Ready to become Gutsy Cooks? Let's start now. Hi, Gutsy Cooks. Today we're going to make microwave butternut squash soup. This is a quick way to have a really rich and hearty soup that you can have for dinner or as a side for dinner. And it's really easy to make. No chopping, no cutting required. So let's get started. Gather your equipment, your ingredients, and yourself. Here are your equipment and ingredients. You can either pause the slide or let it run. I usually give tips and tricks along the way. I will read it out loud for our visually impaired friends. A small mixing bowl, measuring cups, a tablespoon, this is just a regular spoon from your drawer, scissors, little bowls, measuring spoons, a shallow microwave safe dish, a ladle or deep mixing spoon, plastic wrap, a hand mixer or emulsifier. For ingredients, you will need one quarter cup of dried onion, one quarter cup of water, one bag of frozen butternut squash cubes, that's 16 ounces, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic granules, one tablespoon of dried oregano, two cups of vegetable stock, or you can use chicken or beef stock, one cup of plain non-fat yogurt or sour cream, and this is an optional ingredient, and chives or green onions to garnish. This recipe can be doubled, but do not double the salt or oregano until you have tasted the dish. You can add some more of that later on if you'd like. Get ready. First, you're going to mix the dried onion and the water in a small mixing bowl and let that stand for five minutes. Set a timer. Then you're gonna open the bag of butternut squash and the box or can of vegetable stock. You need two cups. Then you're gonna measure the salt, oregano, and garlic granules into little bowls so that you're ready to add them. Combine. Add all of the ingredients to the baking dish spread them out evenly. So you can see here we start with our butternut squash cubes, then I add the onion on top, and you can use less onion. I actually doubled the onion because we like a lot of onion, but that can also be bitter. So just stick to the recipe the first time through. And then as you add your ingredients, you can see I'm sprinkling them all around. And then I go to do the oregano, that didn't quite work out as planned. That's what you have your spoon for. So you can gently toss it and mix it up if the ingredients didn't quite make it as spread out evenly. Okay. Then you're gonna add your vegetable stock and you're going to cover it with plastic wrap. Heat. Place the dish in the microwave oven and microwave it on high, which is your regular setting, for 10 minutes. Then you're going to leave it in the microwave oven and let it cool in there for five minutes and set a timer. When you go to remove it, it will still be warm, so you need to remove it with dry pot holders, not just the wet towel sitting there. And please be careful, most of our microwaves are at face level, so please be very careful removing it from the microwave. Finish and serve. I'm going to show you some different techniques for finishing your butternut squash soup. If you just have a potato masher, well really, once you take off the plastic wrap, you can see that the cubes are still intact. So if you want to have the soup as it is and eat it with the cubed butternut squash, that will taste just fine. Um, in that case, you would not add the non-fat yogurt or the sour cream. You would keep it as more of a broth-based soup. If you're saying, no, I don't want to eat cubes of butternut squash, I at least wanted it a little bit mixed around, you can use your hand mixer. And as you can see, it does break up some of those squash cubes, but not a whole lot. You will still have recognizable chunks of squash. So if that's your jam, great, do that. The third option is to use the emulsifier or to put it into a food process, pr processor. You can see this is going to make a creamy 
type soup. Now, without putting it through a sieve or some kind of fine mesh, you will still have a little bit of a grainy texture. It's not gonna be a completely smooth cream soup, mainly because of the dried onion. Um, if you were to grate fresh onion into this, then it would change the texture to more of a creamy soup. However, we were trying to do this recipe with taking things just out of your cupboard to make a quick soup in the microwave. Then you're gonna add the sour cream or the yogurt right to the dish there, and you're gonna use your emulsifier again, or your food processor. You would add this to the food processor, and you're going to mix it in. Um, it's going to take a good count of 30 to 60 to get that completely mixed. The yogurt or sour cream gives it a little bit of an umami flavor, that kind of different flavor on the back and sides of your tongue. And it just adds another flavor dimension to the soup. Dish your soup into a bowl, just like this. You're gonna wanna clean up the sides of your bowls if anything does stick to the side. It's just a nicer presentation. Then you're gonna take your green onions or your chives this is a second use for your kitchen scissors here. And you're gonna use the tops of the green onions, make sure there aren't any brown or dried. You can also easily change the flavor profile of this soup. If you wanted to do a curry and ginger soup, you could use curry powder and cumin instead of the oregano, and you would get a completely different flavor for this soup. You could add ginger or use coconut milk. I know those are a lot of options, but this is a good base to make any flavor profile you want. So some of my more creative cooks, this is a great way to start with the cubes, the broth, and you can change up the seasonings as you'd like. So have fun with it. This is a nice, healthy soup. You have vegetarian options. You have no dairy options. I really hope you give it a try. It is yummy. If you like this recipe, please subscribe. Thank you for your time and attention. Now go get gutsy. Now go get gutsy.